popular app helps people find love from Kansas City to the Olympic Village, but it can also bring some unwanted attention. A flaw in the app actually lets hackers find out exactly where you are at any time. New at 10, Garrett Haig explains the flaw in the Tender app that took months to address. It's fast, free, easy to set up, and increasingly popular for anyone looking to get a date. But a hack revealed this week shows some users may have been able to give away more information than they bargained for. I mean, it's easy. Happy hour on the plaza. There's actually some cute guys on there. And it's drinks in one hand, phones in the other. It's, it's fun. I use it more for novelty than anything else. People swiping through photos of other singles on the market. It seems like those are the real guys. It's simple to use. Log in using Facebook and start looking for other users nearby. Not interested? Swipe left. But like someone, swipe right. If they like you back, you can start a conversation. Oh, it's an app. The app is so popular, even Olympians are swiping for dates. Snowboarder Jamie Anderson said in an interview that Tinder in the Olympic Village is, quote, next level. All world class athletes. But this week, a web security company announced it had found a flaw in how the app tracks where you are, allowing a hacker to pinpoint a user's location not to the mile like the app allows, but to within just feet. By measuring the distance to them uh, from three points in the city where they are. The company says they warned Tinder last October, but Tinder didn't tell them the problem had been fixed until January. In a statement, Tinder's CEO said users' privacy and security were its, quote, highest priority. Back at the bar, the news that users might have shared more than they bargained for drew mixed reactions. That's a little creepy. I don't want someone to know exactly where I am. We, we live in an age where everybody knows where we're at. I mean, you know, with the Twitter, with Facebook, with everything. 